What did we do in the previous lesson? We created the text for a children's fairy tale book. We generated the necessary images. Great! What's next? Today, we need to combine the created text and images together. After that, we'll need to register on Amazon and publish the created book. Hello dear friends! As you've understood, today we continue our learning journey on creating an e-book with ChatGPT. So, Tak, are you ready for the lesson? Hold on a moment, Little Red. I'm changing clothes. I'll be ready in a minute. Excellent. Then, Little Blue, go ahead and start the video. Hello dear friends, very glad to see you again. As Little Red has mentioned, today marks our second lesson on creating ebooks with ChatGPT. For those who missed the first video, let me remind you. With the help of ChatGPT, we crafted the text for a future children's story. Subsequently, using ChatGPT, we generated images through the Leonardo service. Today, our goal is to merge the created text and images into a cohesive whole and then proceed to register on Amazon to publish our completed book. Hope it's clear to everyone. In that case, let's get to work. To create an ebook, we're going to use the online service Canva, which is great for both design beginners and experienced professionals. I'll provide the link to access the Canva online service in the description of this video. Let's head to the Canva website and in the search bar, type Storybook. Instead of using the suggested templates, we'll create our project from scratch. Click on the grey square that says create a blank storybook. A page for creating the book will appear. Before we continue, I want to mention that we're planning to publish the book on Amazon, which has its own rules. The first rule is that there should be margins for both text and images. If you want to learn more, you can check Amazon's book creation rules on their website. The link will be in the video description. To simplify our work, Canva will help us set up margins right now. To do this, go to the File section. Then View Settings and select Show Margins. As you can see, the system has automatically marked the margin boundaries. What's next? We need to change the page size. Open the Magic Switch section. And choose Custom Size. Set the size to a width of 6 inches and a height of 9 inches. Specify the page margins as before. For the convenience of future text and image placement, let's set up guidelines. Since I've already uploaded images, I'll show you how to do it. Select Upload Files and find the folder with the created images. First, let's set up the background image. Choose it and as you can see, the background image is now in Canva and we can create the page background. Click once on the image and it will appear on the page template. Since the system indicates margin boundaries, use the sliders to position the image within these boundaries.
the page background is ready. Now let's upload the created image illustrations. Repeat the same upload process. Before placing the image, let's create boundaries for them. Use guides to create boundaries for inserting images and text. Don't forget that at the top of the page, I'll be providing section names. The layout template is created. Now, we can start adding images. Click once on the image, and it will appear on the page template. Just like with the background, use the sliders to position the image within the created boundaries. The next step is inserting the text. Choose the text section. Now go to your book text file and copy the page title. Choose add a text box. Paste the copied title into the text box. Place the text box with the title and move it to the top of the page. Align the text to the left and choose the storybook font. Enlarge the text to the desired size and change the color from white to black. Now insert the main text of the page. Again, select add a text box and paste the text for the first page. Change the color. Font size. and align the text to the left. Use the sliders to position the text where needed. I think the text size can be increased. That's it. The first page is ready. Let's move on to the second. To avoid creating everything from scratch since all pages will be the same, make a copy by pressing duplicate page. A new page 2 is created automatically. Next, upload the image for this page. Repeat the same actions. Upload files and choose the image. Remove the image from the previous page and insert the new picture. Since the title remains the same, we don't change it. Instead, copy and paste the text for the second page. Delete the previous text and format it to fit the size of page 2. Oh. I forgot to change the bold text on the first page. Change it to regular as well. Adjust the font size and the second page is ready. Continue with the same actions for each page until the entire book is created. In a few minutes, our book is ready. After completing the book, it needs to be saved in PDF print format. Please note that this is not just a PDF format, but specifically PDF print. 
This is also a requirement of Amazon. Download and save it in a convenient location. That's how my book turned out. The next step in creating an ebook is designing the cover. To do this, select and prepare the relevant images that you previously created in Leonardo. If you don't have them yet, create them right now. The process of creating images in Leonardo is thoroughly explained in the previous video. Now, with your images ready, let's return to the Canva service and create a new design. Navigate to the File section. Then select Create New Design. And choose Custom Size. Set the dimensions in inches. Width 12.309. Height 9.25 Upload your prepared images and insert them into the template. Use guides to position the images on the cover. Once everything is ready, save the created cover page this time in JPG format. This also aligns with Amazon's requirements. Change the title to cover and save the image in the designated folder. Congratulations! Now you're all set to publish your created book on Amazon. To publish an ebook, you need to create an account on Amazon. If you're not registered yet, I'll guide you through the registration process. In the search bar, type Amazon and go to the services page. In the top right corner, locate the account and list section and click on the start here link. Fill in the fields, providing your full name. Next. Enter your email address. Create a password. Check your email inbox. The system will, in advance, verify that you're not a robot and will prompt you to complete a capture process. Now, go to your email inbox to receive the OTP code. Copy the code you receive and paste it into the corresponding field. The system will then ask you to enter your phone number. Within a few seconds, you'll receive a message with another OTP code, which needs to be entered into the appropriate field. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the registration process on Amazon. Now, proceed to the second step. Register on the Kindle service, where you'll be publishing your created book. To publish a book on Kindle, follow the link I will provide in the description of this video. Since we're already registered on Amazon, let's click on the Sign In button. Log into the account by clicking Sign In again. Here, we'll need to answer questions posed by the Kindle system. Choose the business type as individual. Provide your date of birth. Specify the country of residence. Give the system your full name. Provide your residential address. Provide your phone number to the system. 
practice the system will transfer money to our bank account for the sale of our book. It needs information about our account details. The system asks, select a currency for each marketplace below. I specify British Pound Sterling. You of course will enter your own information. Save the entered data. Now let's move on to the final stage. Publishing the book on Amazon. We've reached the final stage of creating and publishing any book. To complete our work, we need to publish the created book. Let's go to the bookshelf section. Click on Create and select Kindle eBook. Then click on Create eBook. On this page, we have to provide information about our book. Firstly, the system asks about the language of our book, which in my case is English. Next, enter the title of the book. In my case, it's Appreciate Your Parents or the Tale of the Disobedient Beasts. Since I don't have a subtitle, I'll skip this part. This being my first book, there's no series associated with it, so I'll skip that too. The system asks for the author's name. You can use your real name or a pseudonym. I've used my pseudonym. All. Devo. Since there are no co-authors, I'll skip that section. Now, the system requests a brief description of the book. Since we created the book with the help of ChatGPT, we'll ask ChatGPT for a summary. I ask, do you remember the content of the created book? If yes, provide me with a brief summary. ChatGPT gives a summary, but as it remembers the first text, it provides inaccurate information. So, I provide the actual text of the book and ask for a new summary. After receiving it, I copy and paste it into the description section. Regarding publishing rights, your response depends on the situation. In my case, I state that I retain the rights. The system then asks if the book's cover or interior contains explicit content, to which I answer no. Next, it asks for the category of the book. I select children's ebook for ages 3 to 5 and basic concepts as the subcategory. I return to ChatGPT to generate keywords and insert them. Finally, I check I am ready to release my book now. The system informs me that it may take up to 72 hours for the book to go live. Save and continue. Done. Now let's upload the book. Check the box for Digital Rights Management DRM, and upload the ebook manuscript in PDF format. The cover, which we've already created, can be uploaded as well. The system collects information about the use of AI tools in content creation. I mark yes and specify the tools used. ChatGPT for text. Leonardo for images. And ChatGPT for text translation. I run a preview to see how the book looks. Everything seems fine. Save and continue. Now, the crucial decision setting the price. I enroll my book in KDP Select. 
or territories selected and set the price for Amazon. $4.95 That completes the process. I click publish your Kindle ebook. The system congratulates me on successfully completing the process. Now we wait for a decision. After 72 hours, the system informs me that my book is live and available for purchase in the Kindle store. As you can see, the book is ready for sale. If you enjoyed the video, support my YouTube channel and consider purchasing the book to help the channel grow and receive more useful educational videos. Thanks for watching. This is Tak, your instructor from the Source of Knowledge channel. Signing off.